Hi, so we're in Onshape and we're going to get, take a look at how to use the Revolve tool and we're going to be making a sphere and a couple of other shapes, so follow along. All right, so uh, we are going to go ahead and create a sketch. We click Sketch. We're choosing a plane. Uh, this time I'm going to choose the front plane. And to avoid any visual confusion, we're going to go ahead and hide the origin planes and click on the front cube. We're going to uh, scroll wheel out to zoom out, click on the scroll wheel, uh, drag to the left. Okay, so here we are in sketch one, and we're just going to go ahead and create a circle. And we're going to go ahead and dimension that circle to be uh, six inches. Okay, uh, then we're going to go ahead and bisect that circle. Okay, so there we have it. Um, okay, so now we have a circle, we have a bisector. Um, we could, if we wanted to, go ahead and delete this. Um, so if we wanted to go up and go to trim, we could go ahead and just trim off half the circle. Uh, and then we can go ahead and finish the sketch. All right, now to make our, um, our uh, sphere, I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, turn back on all of the origin planes. We're going to right click and drag to uh, rotate so we can uh, better see our, our circle there, our semicircle. Now we're going to go ahead and click revolve. We're going to select, notice there are two things to select here, faces and sketch regions to revolve and revolve axis. Notice that we're creating a new solid. We're not adding, removing, or intersecting. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and click the face we wanna revolve. Then we're gonna go ahead and click the axis to revolve around. And there we have our sphere. Okay, so we have our first part done there. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hide part one. Sorry, we're gonna go ahead and do our green check to finish our revolve, and then we're gonna go ahead and hide part one. So, so there we have it. So notice that now we're in the same uh, part studio, but now we're creating part two instead of part one, right? Okay, we're gonna make a new sketch and we're gonna put that sketch on the front plane um, and we're going to click on the front of the cube to make it face us there. And we're gonna go ahead and hide the, uh, the origin planes to avoid confusion. Okay, now let's, let's take another look here and um, let's go ahead and create a, a different kind of a shape, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a line. So at the heart of the revolve is that we need an axis, right? So that's our line right there. And then we need a shape to, to revolve around that axis. So let's make, let's make a bit of a more interesting shape this time. I'm gonna go ahead and forgo the um, uh, dimensions just for the sake of speed here. Okay, so we have this shape. Um, and let's say we got even a little bit more complicated here. Okay, so we have the shape. And now we're going to go ahead and revolve this entire shape around the axis that we've made. Okay, so we tried before with our sphere to just revolve around a um, part of a shape. And now let's take a look at revolving around a, um, a axis that is outside of the shape. So the first thing we're going to do is select the regions to revolve. Okay, so I'm going to grab all of those regions. Notice that it just stacks them up here on the revolve um, in the revolve um, dialog box. Then we're going to go ahead and select revolve axis. Okay, and notice that I'm going to go ahead and click right click and drag and zoom out using the wheel mouse and click the click the wheel on the mouse to to move it over and then I'm gonna drag it around here. So notice that we went ahead and made that revolve and it did a nice job of doing that. Um, the next thing we're gonna take a look at here is that um, we can also change the revolve type, right? So we can do a full revolve or we can go in one direction and we can actually change, um, we can change the angle. Oops, we can change the angle here. Uh, and let's say we wanted to make it, um, 270, 
2,000, so. Okay, so there would be 270, right? So three quarters of the way around. Oops, and guess what? It looks like I didn't get all of it, did I? So if we click back up on regions, and we go ahead and add in those additional regions there. Um, okay, uh, so there we have it. Uh, there's our second type of revolve uh, using an uh, axis uh, which is external to the um, uh, shape that we're revolving. Okay, uh, best of luck.